How fresh? Just in. 67 natural causes. Used to work here. I knew him. He was nice. Fine. We'll start with the riding crop. So, bad day, was it? <laughs> I need to know what bruises form in the next 20 minutes. A man's alibi depends on it. Text me. Listen, I was wondering, maybe later, when you're finished... You're wearing lipstick. You weren't wearing lipstick before. I, uh... I refreshed it a bit. Sorry, you were saying? I was wondering if you'd like to have coffee. Black, two sugars, please. I'll be upstairs. What are you thinking? Pork or the pasta? Oh, it's you. This place is never going to trouble Egon Rone, is it? I'd stick with the pasta. Don't be doing roast pork, not if you're slicing up cadavers. What are you having? Don't eat when I'm working. Digesting slows me down. So you're working here tonight? Me to examine some bodies. Some? Eddie Van Coon and Brian Lucas. They're on my list. <gasps> Could you wheel them out again for me? Well, the paperwork's already gone through. Changed your hair. What? It's the style, it usually parted in the middle. Yes, well... No, it's good, it um, suits you better this way. Just interested in the feet. The feet? Yes. Do you mind if we have a look at them? Now, Van Coon. Oh. So. So either these two men just happened to visit the same Chinese tattoo parlor, or I'm telling the truth. What do you want? I want every book from Lucas's apartment and Van Coon's. They're books. Any luck? Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. I didn't... Jim! Hi! Come in, come in. Jim, this is Sherlock Holmes. Ah. Oh. And, uh... Sorry. John Watson, hi. Hi. So you're Sherlock Holmes. Well, he's told me all about you. Are you on one of your cases? Jim works in IT upstairs. That's how we met. Office romance. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry, what? Nothing. Um, hey. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> well, I'd better be off. I'll see you at the Fox. About six-ish? Yeah. Bye. Bye. It was nice to meet you. You too. What do you mean, gay? We're together. And domestic bliss must suit you, Molly. You've put on three pounds since I last saw you. Two and a half. Well, three. Sherlock. He's not gay. Why do you have to spoil? He's not. With that level of personal grooming? Because he puts a bit of product in his hair. I put product in my hair. You wash your hair. There's a difference. No, no. Tinted eyelashes. Clear signs of touring cream around the frown lines. Those tired cutter's eyes. Then there's his underwear. His underwear? Visible above the waistline, very visible, very particular brand. That plus the extremely suggestive fact that he just left his number under this dish here, and I'd say you better break it off now and save yourself the pain. Charming. Well done. 